Hi everybody, Sharon Parkinson and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to create your very own animated images for use on things like your blog or as a banner um, for a banner site if you wanted to create your own custom, you know, like unique banner. So the first thing you're going to need for this particular um, demonstration is, is, a, is access to a product called Microsoft PowerPoint. Now unfortunately if you haven't got this product then this particular video isn't for you but a lot of people these days use Microsoft um, suite of products so we're going to teach you how to do it using PowerPoint. Okay so you would open up PowerPoint and click on blank presentation and then what you would need to do is, I, I normally get rid of this box, I want to create my own box and then come up here to where it says rectangle, where the rectangle shape is and just draw yourself the kind of the shape that you're looking for. So this would kind of be like a 250 by 250 image so it automatically brings it out in blue. So we're going to change the background first of all. You can do anything you like with this box, so it's up to you. So click, double click on it, and then you get the shape, the shape fill. Well, I'm going to make it um, yellow, bright yellow, so it stands out. And then the outline, I'm going to make blue. And I want the outline to, um, the text outline there, sorry, this outline, I want it to be quite thick. So you come down here and you can do the width here. So let's go and do it, make that 15, maybe not that big, uh, 12 or even 10. Okay, so that stands out. So you've got yellow box with a blue background. And now we're going to do some text. So you, need, you now come up to click on insert and text box here and just draw a box within your box. I'm just going to say this is a test okay we'll just do that on this slide and change the size so let's make that 72 and centralize it and then if you just have where well, you get you see those four pointy things there if you just kind of drag it you see how those um the red dashes have appeared that means it's sent completely centralized both front and uh, top and bottom so you can just let go at that point and I want to make this text blue so highlight the text and again come up here and make it the same blue as your background and make it bold so that's your first slide so what you need to do now is right click over here and do duplicate slide so now you've got another slide to play with and they're going to say this is a test so to show and then we'll do another one duplicate slide how to and then duplicate slide make uh, an okay and then next slide duplicate again make an and then gif using and then that's one of the Duplicate slide. Okay, so that's gone a bit too big. So we can just highlight that text and make it slightly smaller on this particular one. So let's make that 60. Okay. So that'll do. So let's make it. So that's made all our slides now. Let's just make this one a bit more centralized. It doesn't look quite. That's, there we go. Okay. So that's everything that you need to do. So what you need to do now is do file, save as, and what you can browse to the location that you want to put the place uh, your file on. So, so a computer in my case. I'm just going to my documents. Just. I'll just put it here for now and then you're going to call this you're looking for one that says gif graphic interchange format this one click on that and click save so it's going to my documents okay save I'll just find if I, let's just do it the desktop it's easier I'll do it on the desktop and find it better then okay and this is going to be test Test banner. Okay, so you've got it as graphic interchange format and you're going to give it a name. So click on save. And it's going to say which slides do you want to do. And you want to do all slides. 
and it says each each slide has been and it's been saved to my desktop. So if I just go back to my desktop, my desktop now, so I can get to it. Okay, so I'll show the desktop when my PC stops playing up. Show the desktop. So somewhere on my desktop I should have a folder with these files in but I can't see them at this stage. So I'm just going to pause this video while I find them. Okay I found it, it's here in a folder called test banner and we just double click on that just to show you what's inside and I've just made that so you can actually read those slides, so extra large. So this is a test to show how to make an GIF file using Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay so that's that bit. So what we need to do now is put that all together and create one file. So I'm going to take you over to a website called gifmaker.me and in this all you need to do physically literally is upload the images so if you click like you just save so click on upload images and find the images that you've just done so I'm just going to find the test on the desktop and it's test banner just highlight all of these so just kind of drag your mouse all over the, all over them and then it'll highlight all of them together click open and you can see it's copying them in okay and it's going to show you what's happening over here on the right okay can you see how it's going so that's actually going too quick so what we need to do is slow that speed down so i'd make it to 1200 2000 milliseconds you can see it's going a little bit slower now there you go and then I'd bring this like this kind of uh, size. I mean, you can have them as big as you want, but I think uh, this size is big enough. 640 by 360. And then if you just do click on here where it says create now, you can add music, music if you want. Click on create now. And it's going to create. So you can then view your animated GIF. And it shows you what it looks like. Okay, and then you just go download GIF image if that's what you like, if it's okay, and just click download. And then that's stored in your download folder. So you just get, click that download folder and copy the file and put it in a location of your choice so you can find it, so you can use it again. So that's how simple it is, guys. And so if you've got Microsoft PowerPoint, it's free. If you And the actual uh, animated GIF, the actual gifmaker.me is also free. So you've got no reason to not be able to make some astounding and, and fantastic looking um, images. I mean these are quite basic just colours and, and text but you can actually put pictures in there as well if you wanted to so just have a play around guys and, have, and see how you think, what you feel and make sure you let me know and show me some of your images once you've done them. So I hope you find that interesting and I shall speak to you again on the next video. Please leave a, a message below this video if you like if you like what you saw and I'll obviously I'll send a few more videos your way as well. Okay see you later.